Hey, how's it going? We are starting in Proverbs. So we finished the whole New Testament with video devotions, which is amazing. And so we are going Old Testament for a while. Not exactly sure how I'm going to handle that. If we went through the entire Old Testament verse by verse, that probably would take 10 years. Um, and I don't know. We'll just probably survey some things here and there and kind of wander around the Old Testament for a while. But we're going to start with the book of Proverbs. We're going to go all the way through, verse by verse, the book of Proverbs. And then after that, I'll have to make some hard decisions. So let's pro start with Proverbs chapter 1. We'll read verses 1 through 7. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, for attaining wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of insight, for acquiring a disciplined and prudent life, doing what is right and just and fair, for giving prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the young. Let the wise listen and add to their learning, and let the, dis uh, let the discerning get guidance. For understanding proverbs and parables, the sayings and riddles of the wise. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. All right, so let's talk about this section. First, it says the Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. Uh, he definitely uh, is the author here of Proverbs. I'm not sure if he wrote all of Proverbs. Um, could very well be. I guess we'll find out if it says somewhere else. I think he wrote all of Proverbs. Psalms is split into a variety of different authors, but I think Proverbs is all Solomon. You can correct me on that if I'm wrong, but uh, at least it starts off. Solomon, the son of David, the king of Israel. And why is he write all this stuff? For attaining wisdom and discipline, for understanding words of insight, for acquiring a disciplined and prudent life. You know, it just kind of continues along those lines. So this is what this is for, to gain wisdom and understanding and insight and discipline how to live right how to think right that's what proverbs is for and i think this can be different from a lot of people's kind of religious understanding you know um, sometimes it's like okay how do i follow some arbitrary religious rules so i can get the favor of god so that he messes or that he fixes all the stuff that i messed up you know, like that can be sometimes the way that people approach religion is like, I need to get God on my side so he fixes my mistakes. What Proverbs is about is not making the mistake in the first place, growing as a person so that you can understand, so that you can have insight, and so that you can live a wise and prudent life. So it's, this is more about learning how to live, and then getting the natural benefits of that rather than merely trying to find the favor of God uh, through religious practices. So that, I think, is kind of neat. I really like that uh, idea. <laughs> you know, like, uh, to me, that's super valuable. Let's figure out how to do this so we can do it well. Um, when the book of Proverbs here, according to my footnote, talks about the simple or fools, it's talking about people who are morally deficient. That's what my footnote says. Denote one who is morally deficient. So <laughs> there you go. It's not just somebody, say, with a low IQ, but someone with a low moral IQ. You know, someone who is willing to do evil but doesn't understand even that they're doing evil. So, um, this is what the book of Proverbs is all about, understanding. So what's the difference, in my opinion, between uh, understanding, insight, and wisdom? So I would say understanding is just being aware of what's real, the facts, the dynamics at play, how things work. You know, you just understand. Like if you understand the economy, then you know what the forces are that drive the economy and, <clears throat> you know, how it, how it all works. You, you understand that. Insight, I would say, is having a deeper ability to, say, connect the dots and put things together that is maybe beyond what other people can see. You can see in. It's insight. Uh, so you've got uh, a 
awareness past just understanding what's going on, now you have insight on a, a deeper level. And I would say wisdom, again, these are just my definitions that are probably fairly close to other people's definitions, but um, I would say wisdom involves your ability to interact through understanding and insight, interact with the world in the best ways. That's wisdom. So that's what I would say those things are, and I think they are valuable things to get. We want to get <laughs> understanding and insight and wisdom and we can receive that from God. In our first parable, you know, so we get the introductory comments. First parable, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and discipline. So the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. What we want to do is really approach the Lord, try to understand God, and have a proper, if you're a believer in Jesus, have a proper reverence and respect for God. If you are not a believer in Jesus, then get right with God. It's a very important thing, or you're, you know, it, it's just super important, and it's way beneficial anyway. But fools despise wisdom and discipline. It's people who are morally deficient hate wisdom. They hate discipline. They just want to be right, and they just want to do what they want to do. And that's not who we want to be. We want to be people who follow God with understanding, insight, and wisdom. So let's pray to receive those things. Heavenly Father, um, help us to grab hold of understanding and insight and wisdom. Help us to have a deep reverence for you and a respect for you as we trust in you and, and uh, walk in your grace. Lord, help us to learn and to see, to not reject wisdom and discipline, but to run after wisdom and discipline, to run after living this life in a wise, understanding, insightful way. So Lord, I pray you would guide us and that you would help us to grab hold of the fullness of your plan for our lives and all these things. I pray in Jesus' name. Amen.